Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to a new episode. Ah, today guys, we got a fun one. We are gonna be messing around with Google and your electronics. Now, before we get the party started, hey guys, listen, I hope everyone's doing really well. Uh, Black Friday just passed, uh, came and went. We did some, all, some good old shopping. I hope you guys got out there and did maybe some Christmas shopping, some holiday shopping. Uh, we got snow starting. Uh, I have one more fishing video in the boat uh, that I will be showing. I finally went to go fish with Mark, so I've got that coming up. Uh, um, but from here on in for the rest of the winter, we'll see how much fishing we're gonna do. I do have some, I've got quite a few videos that I wanna do regarding uh, GPS units, uh, regarding kind of what's going on. So uh, ice fishing will be a challenge. So for those of you that may not know, I actually managed to get myself a pretty big hernia uh, uh, over the course of the pandemic lockdown. So I actually uh, yeah, managed to get a hernia. So I have surgery coming up. Uh, uh, in like middle of January, so I have to be very careful. I can't really drill holes with the with the auger, and I definitely won't after the surgery. So I'm not too sure how that's going to work. I'll have to maybe go with Guillaume or something and let him do all the drill all the holes. But I do have uh, I got some videos that we're going to talk about. I have a fun project we're going to work on uh, probably throughout the uh, during the holidays. So I've got lots of stuff coming up. Hopefully I've got time to do it. But guys, I want to thank you so much again. The channel has been growing very consistently. Very very well. I've been getting amazing feedback. You guys are asking questions, giving me comments. It's been an absolute blast. So thank you so much. Uh, and guys, you know, I, I'm very, very thankful to all of you that have subscribed. And you know, if you haven't, obviously, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe. And I appreciate all of you that click that like button to help grow the channel. Again, really, really appreciate it. So let's get into today's video. Today's video, we are going to be looking at how do you import Google map tracks and waypoints into your GPS map, your Echo map, your Garmin products. Actually, Actually, pretty much any GPS will do okay so I'm sure you guys are like me you're out on the water and you find a good waypoint you hit a fish you find some structure whatever boom you know mark that spot you hit your waypoint and off you go but I'm sure a bunch of you also do research on Google right you open up Google Maps the maps the night before you start planning your stuff or you're out on the water let's just say you're out on a pond or whatever and you don't have your big boat with you you don't have your maps you've only got your phone um, so the question becomes how do we get that information or how do we get the research off the desktop as you see behind me here I got Google Earth and I got Google Maps open so how do we get that into our GPS map uh, or into our uh, into our echo map so in this particular example I've got a Garmin echo map with me and by the way I've got a video coming up about what's been going on with my Garmin units I got some bad news on the Garmin front so uh, we're gonna we're gonna do some stuff on that but anyway um, so yeah so how do we get them in here good question we are gonna figure that out today all right so um, the first thing you want to do is uh, bear in mind that you can't do it from your phone or at least it might be a little complicated to do it from your phone. However, uh, on your phone, some of you guys, if you use Google Maps and you have a Google account, you can actually save waypoints. We're not gonna get into doing how to do that, but when even when you're driving, like I've actually driven, like let's say downtown and I've parked, you know, super far from where I have, you know, where I'm going downtown, I'll actually go ahead and save a waypoint downtown uh, where I park my car. That way when I leave, I can just easily figure out where it is. So you can save those if you have an account and you can access them from desktop and from there we can go ahead and export and get them into the unit. So how does this work? So I've got here, this is a 93 uh, SV Chirp and on this guy, uh, very important, you've got the port that's right here. So this allows you to import waypoints and other data, which I've done many videos on, so check out the other videos. And um, <clears throat> we're gonna use this guy. Now, uh, for newer Garmin units and newer units, you can use Homeport to uh, go ahead and export information into these units, but unfortunately I can't do that right now simply because I do not have a functioning uh, newer unit. Yeah, we're gonna talk about that later. Um, so we're gonna do this kind of like the old fashioned way, but bear in mind, if you've got a old generation Chirp or a first generation Echo Map or a unit that simply doesn't allow for that wireless connectivity, um, this is how you're going to do it, okay? So let's get started. Um, the first thing we need to know is what do we need to import in here? How do we, how do we get this to even work? And, and what do we do with the file? So 
they use GPX files, okay? So GP, .gpx are the uh, GPS coordinate files that are used and supported by the Echo Map series and by all the Garmin units and probably other brands as well. Um, it's pretty much an industry standard. Um, so the problem is, is that Google doesn't actually let you save things as GPX. So we need to create those GPX files in a way that's free, and easy, and then we need to third step, get it in here. So we're gonna go jump on the computer and I'm gonna show you real time, we're gonna walk right through it about you know exploring maps and looking at stuff and how do we go ahead and save the coordinates from Google Maps and how do we get those GPX files, all right? So let's jump on the computer and we'll check it out. Okay guys, here we go, let's get started. So we basically have the island of Montreal, uh, which is the area that I live in, and uh, I've got it open up here in Google Maps, all right? So that's the first tab. The second tab that I have open is something called GPS Visualizer. You can see the address here, and I will have a link in the description below. Um, and we're gonna be using their converter that allows you to convert GPS files or plain text to GPX, okay? So convert a GPS file to plain text or GPX. So this is basically the tool that we're gonna use to create our GPX file. So let's go back to the map and I'm gonna pretend that I'm gonna be fishing Lake St. Pierre. So let's say we've got a tournament coming up or something like that. I wanna use Lake St. Pierre. So we're gonna zoom in and we're gonna to switch to satellite view and you know, you guys have your own techniques for what you're looking for. Uh, you know, it, and it also depends on what season you're looking for. You know, we're gonna look for pads because here it looks like we've got a bunch of pads and shallow water and stuff. So it depends on the season. But anyway, I digress. So let's pretend you wanna start looking for points on islands, whatever it is that you're looking for. So let's just say on Il Plate over here, it, I, which is French for, uh, this is actually Il Plate, which is flat island. Uh, so let's say we wanna fish right here. This looks pretty good. We wanna set this waypoint here. So we just right click and it will pop up uh, various options including the GPS position. So we just click on that position coordinates and it will copy it to clipboard. Then you can go over here to the other window on GPS visualizer and just click in this little box, right click and hit paste. And there you go, it'll go ahead and paste the exact coordinates. Go back to your Google Map. So let's say we click along, we go over here, and this is another point that we want. We're gonna just go ahead and right click. There's your dimensions again. And go back here, hit enter to go to the next line, and go ahead and paste again. And what we do is we wanna, we wanna put these coordinates uh, separately on one line, okay? So each line will be its own set of coordinates. Uh, let's say we go back over here, all this, this point right here looks interesting, maybe a little bit further out, boom. Go back, hit enter, paste it on there. And let's see, what else do we got around here? Um, what else could be interesting, could be interesting, could be interesting. Let's say right here, See, we got something that's coming out here under the water. You can see that there's a point that just comes out, comes out. So this might be interesting right in here. And let's go ahead and paste that there. There you go. So we now have four coordinates. So let's just start with this. But I mean, you can do this with as many as you like. And the first thing you wanna do uh, before we export is you're gonna to wanna to change the, uh, the force text data to this type. You're gonna to wanna to force it to waypoints. If you leave it on default, it'll actually do track. It'll just build a full track. So we don't wanna track, you wanna hit waypoints. And then you're gonna put it on GPX, and then you're gonna go ahead and hit convert. It'll give you this warning that you've entered some text in the data box, it doesn't appear to be a valid header row, blah, blah, blah. Don't worry about that, just go ahead and hit okay. All right, and after a second, you'll go ahead and get to this output page, and then you can just click on download right here, and that'll open up, and there's your GPX file. So now we have a couple of choices when it comes to this GPX file. We can either go ahead and copy it directly to a SD card and import it directly into the unit, or we can actually open it in home port and manipulate the file a little bit, uh, and uh, we can rename it, we can add icons to it, whatever we want. So let's go over both options. 
Okay, so now we've got HomePort open. Now, um, for those of you that don't know what HomePort is, uh, check my link in the description below. There's gonna be a link to my video on how to use Garmin HomePort for manipulating your waypoints, editing your waypoints, importing and exporting. It's all covered in that video, okay? So we won't go through it all over again, but uh, everything is covered in that video. So uh, this is our video here, and you can see uh, this is an area that I currently fish, and this is the area here where we were just uh, looking at Lake St. Pierre. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna import that GPX file that we just did. So what I do is I'm gonna do file, import into. So this is a file that I may currently maintain. So the waypoints2.gpx is actually the uh, GPX waypoints that I have on my Garmin unit right now on the, the particular one that I'm working on. So we'll just file, import, and then this is the latest one right here. So we're gonna just click on that, and there you go, it imported them. Now, the map obviously in HomePort is not as accurate as the uh, maps that we see on Google Maps or the ones that are actually in the GPS unit, um, but these are the right ones, and you'll see when we import them, they will have the islands and everything else. So here they are, and from here, you can actually manipulate them. So uh, you can just click on whichever one you want. You click on this guy like that, and we can go ahead and rename it to whatever we want. We can change the icons to whatever we want, like that. And uh, that's it. And you can, you know, you can add any kind of notes you want to it. Close it, and there you have it. Ready to go. So once you get all these. Uh, ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and put them on the SD card. Now, hopefully you guys have seen my video, again, link in the description below, how to import these, uh, but we'll go through it really, really quick, okay? So let's go get the SD card out. Okay, guys, there is our micro SD card, all right? So, and our little SD card reader. So we go ahead and put this in, and we're gonna plug this into the computer and we're gonna copy over those GPX files. Now, remember, you have two options, okay? So either A, we can import, if, if you just wanna import these directly into your unit, okay? There's no reason to open up home port and manipulate it. You can literally take the GPX file that we downloaded and copy it right to this card and import it directly into your, into your Garmin unit. If you want to manipulate it, rename it, work on it in home port, then from home port, you're gonna go ahead and copy it onto the card, okay? Okay guys, so as I mentioned, here is the file that we just downloaded. So this is the file that we just downloaded directly from here, all right? So we're gonna take this file, and like I said, you have two options. So one, we can take this file, and we can go directly to our SD card. We go into the Garmin folder, uh, and in here, we're just gonna go ahead and paste the file. All right, now normally I have a little battery in here and I'm able to take this and go ahead and plug it into the battery, but I have no clue what happened to my battery that I use in the office. So we're gonna have to go downstairs, we're gonna go get on the boat, plug this in, and I'll show you what to do. Okay guys, we're good to go, we're at the boat, and yes, there's a ladder in my boat. It's because there's an attic thing up there where I do storage, and anyway, whatever. I got the SD card right here, let's go ahead and put it in the unit. By the way, the SD card that I just put in here, I'm using the same SD card that my map upgrade is on and my, um, my contour lines, uh, my quick draw stuff, it's all on the same card. I use the same card most of the time. If I screw up the card, I can just re-download the map so it's not that big of a deal. Um, but if you purchased a actual SD card uh, map pack, maybe not use that. It should be locked anyway, but just in case, don't, don't use that. Get another SD card for you doing this kind of stuff, okay? So it's in there, let's go ahead and turn it on. And um, I'm gonna zoom in, and I will show you exactly what I'm doing on the screen, okay? Okay, so units on, and uh, unfortunately, like I said, this is an older generation. I don't have a touch screen on this particular one, but that's okay. So we'll scroll over to user data. We're gonna go to manage data, and we're gonna do data transfer. And there we go. So now we're gonna do merge from card, all right? So we're gonna merge from card. We're gonna select a file. It's gonna search. There is our main, this is the, uh, the one that we downloaded that has all of our Google waypoints. We're gonna select that. And that's it, 100% done. It's, it's actually super quick. So we're gonna go ahead, and you can see here, routes transferred, tracks transferred, transfer complete, um, and user waypoints, but there's only user waypoints on this particular file. So we're gonna hit back back, actually we can just hit home, it'll go back home. Uh, let's go to the chart and let's go find those waypoints to make sure that they're loaded. So nav chart, we're back at the, we're at our map. This is where I live right now, so this is where we're at. So let's go up here and let's go, there's Ile St. Pierre right here. 
and our waypoints were around here. We're gonna zoom in, zoom in, zoom, there you go, there they are right there. So we can zoom in again, and there you go guys, there's our waypoints. There's number 10 is right here, number nine is here, and there should be a few more up here. Where's the rest of them there? Ah, here we go. 12 is here, and there was another one as well. And I think the other one was up here. There he is right here. And there's number 11 right there. So there you go, guys. So that worked, and you can see we didn't have to do anything with home port or any kind of fancy program. We just went and put them in directly, and that's all there is to it. Really, really nothing complicated to it at all, as you can see. If you use home port and you manipulate the waypoints and you do the export, you just have to save it to the card and import it the exact same way we did for the raw file that was outputted by the site, by GPS uh, Visualizer. And of course, you can look for the link in the description below, and I've linked to my other videos that show you exactly how to use home port, how to organize your waypoints, how to export your waypoints. So if you need more detail on how it's done, that's it. But that's all there is to using Google Maps uh, and getting those Google Map waypoints directly into your GPS units. It's super, super easy. So I hope you found it as easy as I did and also as handy. Uh, great little trick. All right, guys, thank you so much. And don't forget, of course, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you have any questions, as always, ask your questions in the comments below. And I do try to answer as often as I can. And that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much again. And uh, I got little Oreo over here. He's, he's just chilling around too. And he says bye as well. Bye. See you guys.